I have an update here on my bypass filtration on a gasoline engine for an NV200 van. It's a small four-cylinder engine. I was used, and I have a video on this. This is the AMS oil. This is a pleated two micron bypass filter. You can see the part number there. It's EABP-90. I couldn't get any noticeable cleaning improvement running 10,000 miles and my oil would still be pretty dark which I think is normal to have dark oil but I did a bunch of uh, particle count uh, tests and I couldn't find any difference having the bypass filter in line or not used I have a high quality main filter which is very small for this engine but the bypass didn't seem to make the oil any cleaner or just barely cleaner which was still very clean oil even though it looked dark the particle counts were showing clean but I wanted to be able to see a difference and uh, and so it's like that one really wasn't doing anything at all so I'm trying now now that's a that's a pleated filter if you open it up it looks like a standard oil filter and I'm gonna try what's called a cellulose depth filter so the difference is rather than going through one layer of felt which is basically one layer of paper the oil is gonna go through about five inches of paper it's called a depth filter because it has to travel through so much more filtration this is a M series from Triple R, part number TR20330. This is rated at 2 micron and it's similar to the toilet paper uh, filters. There's uh, some other companies that are making similar uh, filters and it goes in an enclosure which basically looks like this. I've just installed it. I haven't put it online yet. But basically, it's still bypass filtration. So the oil has an orifice. It comes up through the middle, it comes up through the middle, and then it goes down on the sides and ends up passing, like I said, lengthwise through the filter. So we go ahead and install that right here. Now it seals on the outside edge. It pushes in pretty tight like that. And also it has the advantage you can actually examine the top and see what you're actually picking up. Because the entrance to the filter is that top layer there. So I'm going to see if this makes a difference and you really can't get better filtration than this. This engine's too small to drive a centrifugal filter. And well, I'll put that together in a minute. So we'll see what that does and then I have my shutoff valve. Basically I'm tied in on the oil pump. It's teed in there just like any bypass would do and then I dump it back into the pan. I have an installation video which shows me putting in the Amsoil bypass. This is the same thing. I have the valve added for testing purposes to be able to test it on and off and also let's see what it does with the oil pressure now. Now you can tell when you got flow because it's smoking hot because the oil runs hot in the engine. So let's look at our idle and our 3,000 RPM. I tied in a pressure to the pressure transducer. And so at idle, we're 18, which is about what I had before. And then I'll run at 3,000. At 3,000 RPMs, it's about 70 PSI. So let's close off the bypass. See what our difference is on our oil pressure. 
Okay, that's closed. So at our idle. So our idle is about yeah, 20. So we're losing two PSI on the idle. And then at 3,000 RPMs. Seventy-six. So about six. So we're losing two psi an idle, six psi at in run the RPMs. So yeah, we're fine on that because the oil's hot, so it's going to be flowing in maximum. I'll check that again a little bit later after I get some uh, age on that filter. So right now, that I have 5,000 miles on my oil, I'm probably gonna have to add a quart to compensate. I'm gonna go ahead and test the oil at 10,000, and we're gonna see what our uh, particle counts are. And then I'll be able to compare the depth, the cellulose depth filter to the, to the uh, pleated uh, filter. Both of them rated at two micron, the cellulose filter, which is basically paper, is supposed to be better at pulling out water also. Because these engines get quite a bit of water in them from the product of combustion. So I'll be interested to see what this looks like yeah, for a 10,000 mile total run. I'll post the results for that and then I'm going to do another 10,000 mile run with an oil change where I leave one quart in there. I don't change the oil there. So we'll have, we'll have 15,000 miles worth of data for particle counts to see what the depth filters do and see how they help out on gasoline engine purification. I'll keep y'all posted. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.